We're at the Drake by Taylor Morrison in Elk Grove, California. This is probably the most requested. This is the most popular floor plan in all of Elk Grove. It's over 4,000 square feet. It has two add-ons. You can have so an in-law unit on both sides if you want it, or it's what they call a casita in the back. And uh, let's go take a look at it. I'll give you the pros and cons in my opinion. First of all, this house doesn't even look like a house. It looks like a fortress. You got the inside area for the garage. So you gotta actually drive your cars through here to get to the garage. I like the outside. I like, I like this elevation itself. It comes with three elevations you can choose from, which is basically the front of the house. Uh, I like this one myself. I like the colors they're using. I think grays and whites are kind of popular now and I like the outside to look this way. It's very nice. We're here at Taylor Morrison in Elk Grove, California. Today we showcase the Drake floor plan. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. We'll be bringing you the best Sacramento home tours. We're in Elk Grove. Let's check out Taylor Morrison's The Drake right now. Like I said, this by far is the most popular floor plan that I've been seeing in Elk Grove. So I kind of want to do a quick video. Okay, so you're walking in the house and over on this side, your left side, you have a little sitting area, which is nice. I love how they decorate their houses and stage them. It's pretty cool. Um, really, really nice and nice lighting. You got nice natural light coming in as well, which is very good. You got some high ceilings. What? I'm 6'2", so what? Maybe like nine foot ceilings, which are nice. You got the recessed lighting. Here's an uh, office. And the thing with the Drake too is it comes with a lot of like changes you can do. You can change this to a bedroom if you want to. You don't have to have the uh, casita in the back. So you can really change this to meet your like lifestyle, which is nice. And by far, this house with over 4,000 square feet is the most popular floor plan I've seen in probably Elk Grove, El Dorado Hills, Folsom. This is it, and they only have an Elk Grove. So here's a nice office area. You got high ceilings. If it was me, I'd probably put like those farmhouse doors here. <sighs> Be nice. Um, and then you got this, and this is nice because you're looking at the walkway is wider than normal, which is really, really cool. So when you do your grand entrance home, you really feel the space. Yeah, the area right here for a nice dining table. The thing that's nice about this one is the fact you have a lot of natural light out there as well. You have a pantry over here, high ceilings, nice lighting. You have a nice area over here that they're using as like kind of like a nice area, to, kind of like a probably put like wine or entertaining area right here. So that's what I'm looking. Then back here is a nice bedroom. So if you're like me and you're saying you're talking, you know, like sometimes mom and dad come to visit and they want their own kind of entrance. It's kind of cool. This goes directly out to the courtyard where the garages are. So they can actually park and come directly into this kind of area. It's like a little suite for them, which is nice. Nice bathroom. Check it out. Pretty cool. Now, here's the bedroom itself. Now, one of the things that kind of is weird about this floor plan is the fact that like there's a bathroom right there and there's like a bathroom right here. And I mean, I guess I get it for the suite aspect that if you're giving someone a room here, but I find having two bathrooms so close together a little redundant. Um, you have a nice closet here. You could put probably like a queen max in this bed to really kind of like enjoy it. King probably be too big for this room. Nice windows. Right here, you got the bathroom. Check it out. Really, really nice. And like, I, like I mentioned before, like there's a lot of components you can have in the Drake. So the bedrooms, the office, the patio, all that stuff, you can kind of interchange it. So they have different things. But the thing that's nice about this unit specifically is it's over 4,000 square feet and it's a lot. You can really feel the size in this model. Come on, let's go take a look at the rest of the house. Now, as everyone knows, open concept is one of those big things. Almost every builder is building open concept. Um, this house has open concept galore. Look at this thing. Look at this kitchen. And like I said, with upgrades, you're looking about maybe 16% of the total purchase price of a house goes towards upgrades. So keep that in mind. You have a nice fridge. You got a huge, huge, huge island here. You got the hood, which everyone loves. You have the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling, which is nice. You have the lighting. Um, this is really a beautiful, beautiful house. And like I said, if you're thinking about spending COVID in style, this is kind of where it is. So the Drake, like I said, the most popular floor plan by far. They're sold out right now, 
but you never know what's gonna happen in the future. Say hi to Kelly at Taylor Morrison. She definitely knows a lowdown on the models. So this is the living room. Fireplace, TV, high ceilings. Really, really nice room, spacious. Um, one thing I do like as far as myself is that sometimes when you have a huge room, there's no real division in the room. Even though you enjoy the open concept, it's nice to have this here. There's a little bit of like a, or kind of a divider, but not really. Still taking in the open concept, but also have that little division between the kitchen and the living room, which I like. Okay, let's go take a look at the backyard area. This is the type of lot you're gonna be getting with the, um, with the Drake for the most part. You can get a lot premium, of course, but this lot you can tell is very, very large. Also, if you go for the casita over there, the backyard's gonna go in the back as well too, and we'll show you that. I don't know if this casita is open in the back, but we'll take a look at it. It's nice. The size in the backyard is definitely nice. I mean, some people might say for spending this much money on a house, you want a bigger backyard, but the size definitely is, I think, adequate for this house. I would love to see a little bit more space, but you know. No, they locked this down. Okay, so for the most part, the casita is the one in front and the one in back here. You're seeing like one big studio space. You're seeing a closet, a full bathroom, and maybe also like a full, uh, kind of like a storage area and stuff on both of them. Now this one in the back is a lot bigger. Okay, so that is basically the casita in the back and that's optional as well. Let's go take a look inside of the bedrooms. I like this floor plan. I'm also seeing a big trend in Taylor Morrison, kind of big builder, bigger homes. This thing is by far the most popular floor plan they have. So just because you see the video, don't assume it's gonna be available because honestly, these houses, they're hard to come by. So reach out to our team. We know all the builder salespeople. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look. Nice stairs, high ceilings, recessed lighting. You got some windows over there. The loft starts to protrude over here, which is nice. Very nice, spacious pat, like a, what's called above area, loft area. Nice, you can have a ping pong table or pool table. Sitting area here, look at all the windows. Now this is really, really nice. <clears throat> you got a nice closet area right here. Probably storage for like some of the games or anything, pool, whatever. Then you have one bedroom over here. Full bath, really nice. Then you have another bedroom right over here as well, which is nice. Like I said, in these bedrooms, other than the master, you probably get a queen size bed to fit in pretty nicely. Anything more than that. But I will say about this model I like is the fact that they have a lot of windows, a lot of natural light coming in, which is cool. Okay, so over here, you got another bedroom and you've got the washroom. Now take a look at the bedroom real quick. Like I said, queen size bed for sure. Then you got a full bath right here. A lot of windows, very nice. Okay, so check this out. What we're seeing more than not is people putting the washrooms on the second floor because this is where you have your bedrooms. So nice size washroom here. You got some storage as well. Upgraded tile, of course, in the models. And I'll tell you this thing about the models, they're always going to put their best upgrades in the models. This model specifically, I'm gonna guess, is probably upgraded maybe about $200,000. So now the master bedroom, and like I said, like the master bedrooms are always like one of the areas that people fall in love with. I mean, this master bedroom is huge. Look at this, you got windows. You can put a king size bed in here. You can have a sitting area here. 
TV there. And then right here is your master bathroom. Not bad. Nice finish too. Take a look at this. Now one of the things that's trendy and really, really I love is the fact that you have separate sinks, separate sink areas. He, she, he, he, whatever. This is basically a nice kind of bathroom area. You have a standalone tub, very upgraded bathroom, but take away the upgrades and just look at the space. The space is really, really large. This is the size probably of one of the bedrooms, one of the other bedrooms in this. And then you got the shower here. Nice. Nice fixtures and like the black fixtures are really in right now. Um, you have the sitting area, the sitting ledge as well. Recessed lighting, upgraded flooring as well. <sighs> Gotta love this flooring. Now over here, you have the toilet, you have a closet area as well over here. And the walk-in closet with some windows too. One of the things I do love about the walk-in closet with the windows is, have you ever been in a situation where you're picking out your clothes but it's too dark or you're not understanding how it's gonna look outside? I love when you have natural light that can show on your clothes so you know what actually they're gonna look like and how they present outside. So the, that window and natural light coming in totally works for me. Yeah. I'm liking the Drake, okay. Okay, so that's a Drake. Um, by Taylor Morrison in Elk Grove, California. Like I said, the Drake is by far the most popular floor plan that we get requested. So I wanted to do a tour, give you some thoughts. Now here's my final thought on the Drake. I think it's a great floor plan. I do think that Taylor's gonna start building these bigger houses because they've become so popular. The in-law unit in the front, the casita in the back, I think are really, really nice. But I do think that part of me would probably opt out on the casita in the back because I like a pool. And I think for a house this big, having a pool really does bring something out in the backyard. Um, I like the casita in front or the, uh, you know, the little air, the little in-law pool area in front, but at the same time, I don't really know who would live there. I mean, maybe like if you're bringing in a guest or not, but I do like the way the structure is laid out because you could actually, this courtyard is nice for additional parking for your house as well. So I like the Drake. I think I get why it's so popular and so requested because in Sacramento and Elk Grove specifically, you don't see houses over 4,000 square feet that are this nice and this new. So hopefully we'll start seeing a lot more houses that are over 4,000 square feet because, because of COVID, everyone's working at home and everyone wants that big house. And right now the Drake is the must-have house in Elk Grove and in Sacramento Metro, period. Now, if you guys wanna see more, for, uh, more tours like this, hit that subscribe button and the like and comment. Let me know what you think of this style of tour that we're doing right now, because we really wanna give you like opinions on what we think of the house and also give you kind of a first person visual of the house. And like I said, guys, hit that subscribe button. We're out of here. We're gonna be doing tours like this more to come. And um, that's it.